question number two, equity harvesting. Now, for those who love to flip properties, how might you use the bank on yourself strategy? Simple. Take the profits from your first flip and use that profit to fund your bank on yourself designed policy. This will also work without flipping. If you're into doing the popular Burr method, Burr stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. By regularly using a cash out refinancing of your properties to fund your bank on yourself designed policy. Let's take a look at what that would look like to use a cash out refinance on an existing property to harvest some equity into your bank on yourself designed policy. Let's say, for example, that you own four properties, four real estate deals. Each property is currently valued at $100,000 a piece. And let's say that, again, they're appreciating at just 3% a year. That's a total profit, annualized profit, of roughly $12,000 a year for your real estate portfolio, 12 grand a year. And let's say every five years, you did a cash out refinance and pulled out $60,000. Again, that's $12,000 times five years equals $60,000 of equity. To harvest this equity out, you'd have to do a cash out refinance. Now, harvesting equity would allow you to lock in your real estate gains, which remember are not guaranteed while they're just sitting in the walls of those houses. Your equity is not guaranteed. But if you do a cash out refinance into a whole life insurance policy, the policy's value is guaranteed. Not only is the principal guaranteed, but it's guaranteed to increase every year for the rest of your life. So you've locked in some of those dollars that were not guaranteed and you've moved them over to a guaranteed bucket. As an added bonus, the liquid cash in your policy allows you to purchase now a fifth real estate property. So we went from four real estate deals where the equity was not guaranteed and not liquid, and we moved to a policy where the equity is liquid and is guaranteed. And not only is it liquid and guaranteed, but we can now access that cash value borrowing against it to purchase now a fifth real estate property. If the policy was designed the bank on yourself way, you could borrow roughly $50,000 within 30 days of starting that policy. Remember, you put in $60,000 and usually within the first month or so, you can access the money. And I'm saying we can access roughly $50,000 from this example, which would help you secure a fifth real estate deal. So if you're keeping up with me now, you have now five real estate properties, each of them earning in the neighborhood, let's say 3% a year. Plus, you have your policy growing right alongside your real estate on the full cash value, even on the capital you borrowed to make that fifth property purchase. Wonderful. That is super nice. Five years after you open your policy, your total real estate portfolio is now $595,529. Now, again, that's $537,500 for your first four properties and $57,963 for your fifth property. Alongside your real estate, though, your policy, your bank on yourself designed policy, has a total cash value growing now, equaling $69,698 of cash value. Now, even though there's a loan balance on the policy, the loan balance is collateralized by that cash value, and that loan balance has grown to over $60,000 over five years, a 4% APR. But remember, the policy has grown now to $69,698. So we're doing just fine. We're not underwater on our policy loan. But hold tight. I'm going to come back to how we're going to pay down that loan in just a moment. All this means, I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers here at you. All this means is that your total asset value, the policy plus the five real estate deals, is $665,227. So let's just sum total this. Which would you rather have? $537,500 in four real estate deals, locked away equity that you can't touch and is not guaranteed, or $665,227. And don't forget, there's a substantial death benefit on the life insurance policy, which I'm not even mentioning or factoring into these numbers. That's something that your family would not have had had you kept all your equity in those four real estate deals and not set up the bank on yourself policy. So you might be asking, Mark, what if real estate prices crash and I've done all this cash out refinance stuff? Is all this equity harvesting just putting more risk on my shoulders? It's a great question because your properties could go underwater. That means you could owe more than the property is worth. 
And if you harvest equity, you're pulling all this equity out of your properties and then the real estate price drops, sure, you could go underwater with your real estate. During the previous example I just mentioned, the real estate properties were growing at a boring 3% a year. But what if they were to crash a negative 30% or worse like they did in 2008? It's true. There's nothing guaranteed about the equity in the real estate properties that you have until you move it over to a policy which does grow guaranteed. Your real estate properties up until then are faced with the whims and the fickleness of the local real estate market. However, by locking in your equity into a bank on yourself design policy, you are protecting it from ever being taken away from you. If housing prices crash, you'll be thanking your lucky stars you moved your equity into a policy before your equity vaporized to the real estate market. Now, what about that loan balance on the policy? I mentioned earlier that it had grown from 50,000 to 60,000 over those years. So, great news. You are in control of when you repay that loan. So when the house prices finally recover, if the markets were to crash, for example, you could simply sell one of your real estate properties and use the proceeds to either start a new policy or pay off existing policy loans. Great news. You are in control of when you repay that loan. So when house prices finally recover, as they always do, you can sell one of your properties and use the proceeds to either start new policies or pay off that existing policy loan I've mentioned earlier. Since there's no required loan repayment plan on policy loans, you can wait for housing prices to recover, even if it takes five years, 10 years, and sell at a decent price when you're the banker, guys, you're in control. So that is the equity harvesting strategy, something that I think every one of us should pay close attention to if you own a home or if you're in the real estate investment space.